Hi everyone and welcome to a weekly energy update, a general tarot guidance taking a look at how this week's energies are likely to play out in our lives both individually and collectively. Well, it seems like the karmic forces and the universe is not having a day off, not celebrating Christmas because it will be fully at work. Again, this is one of those weeks where things are going to be pretty intense, pretty heavy, pretty unstable, collectively especially. And we will be able to see the hand of fate very clearly at work, both within our lives, but also collectively speaking. So the karmic theme of this period continues... This might also be a Christmas that a lot of people are likely never going to forget. And unfortunately, some people not for the most beneficial or joyful reasons. But also, this Christmas can equally represent breakthrough moments for a lot of people. Even if that breakthrough, first of all, comes like an epiphany a really inspired brainstorming, a plan, an ambition, something that you just decide within yourself, even if it's a little bit too big for you, that can be a wonderful new beginning of the breakthrough where the universe will just start conspiring in your favor to get you there. But this is where you shouldn't really understand this conspire in your favor as something easy, pleasant, or without challenges, because first of all, the challenges are going to get really tough, leaving you no other choice, no other outlook than to just deal with them and take a leap of faith. So basically, it's that kind of the universe has your back where there is very little gentleness to it this time. So let's get back to the reading. First we have the Nine of Wands, clarified by the Death and Star card. Well, this might not really depict one single event, but this depicts that right now there is a period where everything feels so very heavy. We are under the pressure cooker, and everyone is coping the best they can. This basically says that it, this is the karmic theme, we are, we are fighting for our survival, we are fighting for our futures, we are trying very hard, not just to survive, but to survive with hope, to survive with grace. And of course, for most people, this is just a psychological or an emotional energy, but there are some people out there for who this is very, very literal so we have to send a lot of strength and any kind of help in any shape and form that we can to those people for whom the fight is like physical, real, literal. Especially that this also means that problems, whichever or whatever problem is most pressing for each individual, the problem is also going to get more intense and for the most vulnerable for the most helpless individuals, that is really not good news because chances are they won't be able to cope. But of course, this is also the duality of the period. For other people, it will represent being pushed, catapulted to the breakthrough where they will begin a different kind of lifestyle and future, etc. So again, collectively speaking, I do believe that the manifestation of this pile of cards represents something specific that happens where you live in your collective, in your area, your country, where a situation might get out of hand, might be overwhelming, and it will defeat some people, especially those who are vulnerable. And whatever happens will really make people, you know, the, collectively speaking, the citizens or fellow people, fellow community members, for example, to really contemplate about the future, where things are going, and certain things will need to change the urgency of this change, death and the star. So basically, it means the future cannot come, possibly, until certain things are changed, eliminated, put right. And this is where 
each community, each zone, each area, each country, nation, etc. has their own unique, specific, more urgent problems. So this will be like a massive wake-up call or a divine guidance which we collectively can very clearly see through a very simple interpretation of a bigger fated event that happens, one which is not very fortunate. It is almost like the universe is calling us, advising us to start working on the changes because the future destiny basically is knocking very quickly at our doors. We don't have that much time left, so we need to clean up our act collectively speaking, of course. Next, we have the death reversed, the magician reversed, six of coins reversed. Well, on one hand, this means very confusing, conflictual, maybe even absurd or surreal news information, probably overflowing the internet. This is also going to be a moment when there are going to be a lot of informational blockages Maybe news will get deleted, blocked. Freedom of speech is going to be impended. So, you know, this is another chapter of what's going on on the media's communication and information-wise. This Six of Coins reverse also represents some economic changes which are more unilateral than, you know, with done with agreement of both parties. So maybe this re represents the government or big banks, World Bank, big, big financial institutions changing something unilaterally. So it's their way or the highway and that is going to basically influence anyone, everyone. So this is, there is going to be some kind of confusion around finances and especially terms, conditions, the legal side of financial institutions, if that makes sense. This can also represent like further travel restrictions where certain authorities are gonna probably make the rules tougher and there is also a danger for lockdown because Magician Mercury, when Mercury is blocked, so the Magician reversed, it can represent that we may not travel when and where we want to. There might be either some very heavy conditions or simply an interdiction. Next, we have the Five of Wands reversed with the Two of Cups and Five of Pentacles. This might represent a legal battle, for example, between two um, either big companies, two countries, two financial allies who cooperated very, very well in the past, but have had some kind of conflict, and there is an ongoing trial, and the outcome of that trial will be significant, collectively even, for some reason which I probably cannot understand. So this will almost be like a road-opening kind of trial or legal case where more similar ones are going to follow in the future and ultimately they will expect to have the same outcome. So something very relevant happens. And finally, we have the Seven of Wands with the Hermit and the Ace of Cups. This is one of the most positive energies because, you know, this Seven of Wands also represents a manifestation of faith. But this is the really hopeful and beautiful kind where this also represents struggle. So people are fighting for something, mostly perhaps survival, their integrity, to cope, to take care of others, you know, the higher principles. And something happens, so something fated, but something positive, where they get unexpected help within the, this struggle or this fight, even if it's, for example, just a humanitarian struggle where a humanitarian group or the collective for humanitarian purposes is doing something, working on something, trying to help some people or a situation, you know, initiative from people, they will receive a very, very 
important and symbolic help, it may seem a little bit miraculous or it will basically prove the power of people when a lot of people come together and they have this very strong and special and elevated emotional connection, empathy, solidarity, compassion. It will basically prove to everyone what a great power that is and how strongly it can change a lot of things very quickly. So basically the power of love. It can also be the act of heroism where there is going to be a hero who saves the situation and it might become world news, it might become viral, everyone will hear of this and it will be very inspirational. It basically almost will depict a miracle when what it means when the universe truly conspires in someone's favor. Now individually speaking... With this Nine of Wands, the Death and the Star, well, it speaks about a very powerful introspection. It speaks about re-evaluating your situation and perhaps your life as a total. And this will basically act like an awakening or a reality check where you might change your priority list, especially regarding future plans, what you are working on, what you need to accomplish first, for example. So this is where the future outlook, or better said, future view, how you anticipate, how you envisage the future, and of course, value systems as well, as in when your value systems are changing, readapting, when you discover a totally different side of a truth that was already within you, well, you can imagine that certain options, choices in the future are also going to change based on that. So this is, this is going to be perhaps a moment when everyone is going to start feeling the effects of this Venus retrograde season, especially that it dances with Pluto. So it will kind of force us to look at our own truth, everything that we love, everything that we value, and ex what exactly and how exactly do we want to live that in the future. That is where we're going to contemplate a lot. We're going to have an introspection. And by the end of December, our outlook on the future is going to be so very, very different. Next we have the Death Reverse, the Magician Reverse, Six of Coins Reverse. And this represents that something from the past, something that you deemed either lost or failed or unsuccessful or finished and terminated, is returning in your life and perhaps giving you certain unexpected fruits of your labor or rewards or any kind of gain, even if it's not necessarily material, some some gains, some unharvested fruits of your labor, so to speak, or a delayed gratification is returning into your life, which will come as a really pleasant surprise. And there is also a compliment or some kind of honors attached to it, where it will really make you feel appreciated and valued. Of course, for some people, this might just be a simple gesture where they might get a compensation for something that didn't go that well in the past and it wasn't their fault. But for other people, it can be much bigger where it's actually like fated. Maybe a job or a source of income or a project, a connection or any kind of activity that they had to surrender or give up on or was terminated in the past will suddenly or maybe even unexpectedly return to the present as an offer or as a possibility to continue that. Next we have the five of ones reversed, the two of cups and five of pentacles. Well, especially if you are in a marriage, if you are part of a couple, if you have a partnership in your life, this may represent certain contradictory discussions, maybe a small conflict, a minor misunderstanding about money issues, maybe overspending, finances, money management, 
or maybe you had some plans and your partner doesn't feel well or for any other reason isn't up to participating or something changed in their plans. So there might be misunderstandings, there might be a passive-aggressive approach to one another. But for those of you who are single, this can represent you having to lend aid, give help to a friend, an acquaintance or someone who is part of your life one way or another. So you might need to help them out or lend them some money, financial resources, or maybe they're ill, maybe they're not feeling very well and they will need your help or support. So this can represent a moment where you have like a karmic duty, a karmic obligation and you go and do it. But of course, other people are actually going to be the recipients, the beneficiaries of this karmic duty. So understand it according to your situation. And finally, last but not least, the Seven of Wands with the Hermit and the Ace of Cups. Now this is truly beautiful. This is divine blessing. This is divine help or some kind of divine uh, strengthening where it strengthens a virtue something within you like your faith your vision your mental abilities it it infuses you with the power of bliss of divine hope so something really symbolic and inspirational happens in your life when you will feel the universe basically present within you or around you or helping you giving you strength or inspiring you and that will give you a lot of strength. You know, the Seven of Wands is the card of valor, bravery, but that also means that you're fighting for something. So this will give you either strength or maybe even an ally. The Ace of Cups can be any kind of love or a big inner truth, a big inner awakening that hermit. But when I say big, it, it, it is really so powerful that it will transform you very quickly. It is almost like finding that truth that you have been seeking for years, let's say, and it's an inner truth, so no one could have helped you anyway. And this time it just clicks. It is so very clear to you. So this is some kind of really strong blessing here. And finally, divine guidance. We have the star and the five of wands. This is so very, like, literal... The universe is telling us things are hard, they are difficult. Sometimes they're actually desperate, they feel so very sorrowful. But it encourages us to keep on fighting, keep on enduring, at least keep on holding the frequency that is us, everything about us. You know, as Christ said, I am what I am, so that implicitly means that every part of our beings has to hold the same frequency, the same identity, mind, soul, emotional world, inferior self, the instinctual self. So everything that we are has to basically hold the same information, the same desire. This is what it means to be truly concentrated and focused. And this is how we truly fight for our futures by not abandoning it by knowing that it has to be created. So fight for our futures, fight for our dreams, fight for our happiness, the star ultimately. This means for all of us in our own specific way to do this. Because hope can be seen as maybe an illusion, maybe something that we kind of tell ourselves, but it also has a very strong quantum expression if I may use this term because ultimately every future needs a blueprint, it needs a schematic, it, it needs something to manifest on and that is the power of hope or the power of despair because by despair we make sure that things are going to get worse and we invite reality, the world, the universe to defeat us in everything that we do, but with the power of pure and genuine hope, we kind of save ourselves, we become basically our own saviors, our own Christ. 
So that is the higher expression of hope. It can truly change everything. So we need to focus on it because in this fight right now, that is definitely our primary weapon. So thank you so much for listening. I wish everyone blessed holidays, blessed solstice, blessed Christmas, whatever it is that you're celebrating. May the divine shine its light upon you, your loved ones, your family, and may all of your dreams start reflecting in your reality. So thank you so much once again. Until next time, bye for now.